Hey y'all, it's Eric from Gaming Nexus. How's everybody doing today? So today I am checking out a game called Call of the Wild the Angler. And I really dig it. And I think you should check this out. Um, so this is by the company that did the Hunter Call of the Wild, which is available now on Game Pass. And I first played that over Christmas break last year. I just I randomly just booted it up one day. Uh, in the middle of winter, I was just in the mood to be outside, and so I booted it up, and I was like, oh man, this game is, like, actually really cool. And so when this one came up for review, it comes out next week, um, I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna check it out. I want to see what these folks are doing. Um, so I've been playing it for review. My review will be out next week, like I said. Um... All right, so this is just where I stopped last time. I think I'm out on an island. But the first thing I want to do is... Uh, I want to point out how beautiful these graphics are. Like, this is a fishing game. There is no reason for this game to be as good looking as it is. Like... It is ridiculously nice looking. Like, if you watch, you can see those trees there. Doody doody. Hey, hello, Buckaroo. I'm down at Silver Strand Meadow now, if you wanted to drop by. Ignore him. We'll get to him. Uh, the trees, like, blow in the wind. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, this is an open world game, right? It's a fishing game. But it's also an open world game. So you can just like do to do wherever you want in the world and just decide to like plop your line in the water and fish. But there's other stuff to do too. So let me let me just give you an idea of the scope of this world that you're in here. It's it's not a real place, but it's based on Yosemite National Park, right? So this is where I am right now. I'm on this island, right? <clears throat> This is the size of the world that you're in. These points are all places that I've been. Um, but it's huge. It is absolutely huge. Um, super fun to explore. There's all sorts of like neat stuff hidden back in the woods. There's like an old train station and a ghost town and there's like some hot springs you can go check out and like this giant waterfall just all sorts of like really neat stuff um so yeah let's go i'm gonna so i can show you guys i'm gonna head back to like the main base here i'm just gonna fast travel over there Yink. All right, so this is the home base, right? There's the warden station. He is not there right now. That's the guy who was on the radio like, hey, Bookaroo, I'm going to be over, blah, 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 blah. He kind of, like, tells you where he's going to be, right? There are four of these stations throughout the, uh, throughout the park, and they each have these boards on them, and the boards... Uh, give you quests they give you missions like this map challenge here right which i think i've already picked up yeah i so i have all these challenges and i've, I've beaten like several of them so like it's like hey go to this place and catch this specific fish hey find this place on the map and then catch this specific fish um not as easy as you might think and then uh over here Wait, where'd she go? I got all turned around. Where'd she go? There she is. So this boy here also has some, like, basic quests to teach you how to, like, get a boat and drive a car and do float fishing. And then there are specific quests that'll teach you how to catch specific fish, right? Which is cool. A customer? A real-life customer? Come in. Come on in. She ain't got a girl here. here. And with her, you can buy, like, different rods and reels, right? You got different lines. They have different, like, test strengths 
to catch different fish, different lures, and then like really like different lures. But don't get overwhelmed by it. Like the game kind of explains to you what sorts of thing you need to, to catch specific fish. And then there's like all of these, uh, you know, baits and so on, different floats. Uh, we call them bobbers. Come from Ohio. Bobbers is what we call those. Jig heads, soft plastic lures, so on and so forth. But that's not all you can get from her. You can also get different clothes for your fisher person, right? Um, which is cool. You can get rain gear. You can get, you know, all sorts of neat stuff. Um, and the reason that that matters is because this is an online game. It's like a fishing... I don't want to call it an MMO, but it's definitely online. Let's see. Like we're in pre-release right now, and it's early morning, so there might not be anybody playing. But um, almost every time I've played, I've here's somebody. Here's somebody playing right here. Let's see who it is. Hilarier. <laughs> so we could go find this person and hang out with them. I wonder them. if Old Clay goes um, fishing with Zeke. Tried Yesterday I was playing and I jumped in somebody's boat you. and that's how I ended up out at that island. He went to that island and I was just like, yeah, sure, I'll go to the island. Whatever. That's cool. Um, but yeah, and so next time, okay? now you're like, all right, dude, but it's a fishing game, isn't it? Like, what about, what about the fishing? So yeah, I will demonstrate some fishing. I will show you what's up with this fishing. Because it's actually really good it's really good like i am not i have not seriously played a fishing game before ever i just recently started getting into hunting games i reviewed way of the hunter and the reason i reviewed that was because of the hunter call of the wild the previous game in this series um got me interested in hunting games before that i was never like super into it but really like you just pick a place i'm just gonna jump 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 up on there you just pick a place and you kind of hang out and look around for, you know, fish that might be jumping or whatever. All right, so I'm going to change poles. So yesterday I bought this, like, really ridiculous pole. But I think I'm going to go with, like, my medium strength pole. And I'm just going to throw some cheese on it. That's usually pretty successful. Um, okay, so there's the fish out there, right? So I'm going to hold down on the left trigger... Pull back, push forward, and release the left trigger. We're just going to pop that guy out there. We're going to see what happens. Might not get it. Might get it. You never know. But I will say, like, okay, yes, there is an element of hangout and wait. And just enjoy the beautiful scenery. Like, that is part of the game. It's a fishing game, for goodness sake. Like, that's part of how fishing works but i have caught way more fish <laughs> than i ever expected to caught and i have caught some bangers some ridiculous fish uh in the game and there's like really cool strategy mechanics as to how you actually land them um so it's all about like the push and pull of the fish versus the tension on your reel and uh like, it's not just, like, push a button and land the fish. Like, there's definitely some uh, some strategy involved. Like, if you like if you look down in the lower corner, that 30% there, that's the current tension on my reel, right? So, I can make it more tense, right? That keeps the fish from running away with my line. But... Uh, if I make it too tense, it'll it'll get uh, too much pressure and the line will snap and I'll lose the fish, right? So there's this kind of push and pull as you're reeling in of you, like, trying to tire out the fish and land him while, while kind of dealing with that uh, real tension. And it makes it really fun. Like, some of the smaller fish, you just crank them in. It's no big deal. But bigger fish, like this big old catfish I caught, it took me probably 10 minutes to land him. Like, I had to tire him out with the pole first, 
Alright, these guys are not going for this uh, cheese. Let's see if I can find some. Let's change this bait to see if uh, they'll go for something else. Alright, uh, what do you guys want here? You want some, uh, you want some hot dog? Let's try some hot dog. I don't even know what kind of fish are here. This is kind of the starting area here. I've had some success off that bridge there, too. I saw somebody out here. Hey, wait, wait, wrong button. Woo! You want some hot dog? Come get some hot dog. Beans and Franks. Beans and Franks. Get that hot dog. So yesterday I was trying to do a mission. And I'll be honest. I went a good hour without getting a single bite. Like it happens. But you also get on hot streaks where you're just like pulling them out left and right, and that's really fun, too. I would probably do better with some bread here, but I don't think I have any bread. Mosquito. I hear a mosquito. There's no slap a mosquito button. Alright, I don't want to stay here for too long. Even though, like, that's the name of the game. Is hang out and wait and catch fish. But we're going to pivot. We're going to go to a different place. Um, just so I can show more of the game off. Because, uh, although it's all about the fishing. There's so much other cool stuff in the game. So I want to kind of show some of that stuff off too. So let's take a look at the map. Like, sometimes these little tiny lakes are really productive for, like, trout and stuff. So let's, uh, let's just go look at this little lake right here. We'll head over there, right? So we're going to grab a car to get over there. And there should be a car place around here somewhere. I might have to look at these buildings for a minute to find it. It's been a while since I hung out at this uh, initial starting area, so I'm not 100% sure where the car thing is. Is this it? No, that is just informative text. Is it down here at this little building? Nope. Nope. So there are, like, a lot of places throughout the game where you can just grab a car. And it's not difficult. You know, okay, here we go. So this is one here. This is not one. Where's the car thing? I got it. I could just walk. Oh, maybe that's it over there by the flag. There we go. That's it. That's it by the flag. That's it. Okay, let me grab this thing real quick. There's like collectibles all over the place. Alright. There we go. So you hit the button, you get the car, right? Not gonna lie, the car is hard as hell <laughs> to drive. Okay, so you see this watchtower here, right? So, I think I've already got this watchtower. Yeah, I do. It's that thing right there. But, uh... 
that's one of the mechanics of the game is finding the watchtowers and then you climb up them and uh, you learn about the history. Ah! Don't drive into the lake! The history of the park and stuff, which is brief, but informative and entertaining. I will right, we'll stop right here. This lake is like a little bigger than some of the lakes that I've been trout fishing in, but we'll see what we can do here. All right, we're going to pivot back to the cheese. Trouts love cheese. That's the bottom line. All right, if you don't want to do like, oh look, there's like there's a fish right there. If you don't want to do a long cast, you can just hit the right bumper button. And uh, oh, why to equip my my pole here? Right bumper button, short cast, right? Short cast is good for like uh, these smaller lakes like this. If you cast too long, you end up on the other side of the lake, and that's not good. Sorry, we gotta be quiet. We gotta be quiet while we're attempting. Okay, okay, here we go, we got one. Get him! Get him! Alright, so he's kind of smaller, so I don't need to do the whole push and pull, but just to, like, demonstrate that. Oh, he is taking it a little bit. Alright, alright. Okay, so I had to, like, kind of tighten up on my reel a little bit, because he was going. He was going. And to tire him out, you can kind of, like, do this number and pull back, but this guy's, it's not, it's not that critical. All right, let's see what I got. Let's bring him on home. I'm guessing he's a trout of some sort. Come on, Bubba. Oh, he's a catfish! That's why he tried to run. He's a little guy. But I still, uh... I still get some, some decent uh, points off of him and get a little more money towards uh, equipment and so on. Go up a level. Now I'm level 23. Alright, so you guys want to see uh, some other stuff here. This is just the stuff that I'm carrying around with me. Don't even worry about it. Uh, journal. Okay, so these are like some of the other quests that you can do that I've been working on. So you like kind of find this stuff as you wandered around and just tag it for Mr. Uh, Warden guy and he comes and takes care of it or whatever. Um, it's just like a nice little side activity as, you, as you're wandering, you find stuff. So these are the fish that I've caught so far. Uh, large mouse bass. I've caught obviously this catfish. Um, the catfish I caught though, I wish I could show you guys the picture. I took a screenshot of it. It was a banger. It was like larger than my torso. Like it says 11.95 kilograms. Uh, 1.04 meters. It was a giant. So cool. Uh, I've caught a rainbow trout and mountain whitefish. So I haven't caught lake trout. Sauger. Haven't caught this guy. Haven't caught a salmon. Right? Um, so there are huge swaths of the game that I haven't experienced yet. Perch are fun to catch. I used to catch perch out in Lake Erie when I was a kid. And then pikes, which are kind of scary. But we're here, so let's see what else we can get. Let's see if we can get anything else here. Let's kind of just cast over that way and see what happens. He put up a little more of a fight than what I'm used to seeing out of these little lakes, actually. Oh, I see somebody out there. I see somebody out there. I see him. You can see him if you look real close at the water by, like, where my line is. Okay, he's going for it. You wait for the strike. You jam on the right trigger, and I also push up on the pole, too, when I have to Get him! Yeah. Oh, he's going. He is going! 
Oh, he is really going. We're going to have to fight him. All right, so pull back and then reel in real quick. And then pull back and reel in real quick. And pull back and reel in real quick. I used to do this in real life when I was a kid. My dad was a charter boat captain. Oh, snap. He is, like, he is going. We're going to... We're going to tighten up this line a little bit. Mm. Uh, out on Lake Erie. So I used to do walleye out there. White bass and, uh, and perch. Walleye are real fun fish to catch. I'm not good at it anymore. Like you're going to ask, like, do I fish now? No. No, I was fishing constantly as a child. And so I never... Man, this guy... This guy is a fighter! So I never go fishing anymore. Although, playing this game, I've been talking about it my, so much my wife has been like, why don't we just like go fishing? Because I'm all, look at this screenshot of this catfish I caught. She's like, you just need to go. <laughs> oh, we're like, really having to tire this guy down. Oh, man. All right, Fighty McGee, we're going to bring you in real slow here. I think you're getting a little more tired. We're bringing you in. You're bigger than that last guy. For squid it! Bigger than that last guy, for sure. Right, come on. Come on. No, no. You stop that. You stop it. All right, we almost got him. We almost got him. Who is that jumping out of the water like that? This pond is way more productive than I thought. Come on! Come on! Whoa! He's a beast! Look at him! Look at him! He is a beast! Is he like a record trout for me? He might be. Look at that. Look at that. Look at my doofy guy. They all look the same. I put a hat on him. I didn't like his haircut. Uh, I got I got a sweet Avalanche Studios hat that I put on him. Um, man, nice one, very nice. He could be he could be my record setting rainbow trout. That's like the hardest time I've had pulling out a trout. Usually the trouts are just like okay, and just come along, but that guy was like not having it. He was not having it. Okay, so I feel like I kind of like have shown the fishing mechanics here. Um, let's pivot somewhere else so you guys can see like some of the cool scenery. Let's see uh, what we got here. What is this point of interest? Um, I think that is the waterfall, which is very beautiful. But let's see what else we can check out. Um, I can't remember specifically where they all are. So at the beginning of the game, to get better gear, I went crazy and uh, wandered around and found a lot of places. <laughs> it gives you money each time you do, and I was all, I want, I want better stuff. So, all oh, right, right, okay. So here's uh, we're at the mine, right? So Prosperity Spring Silver Mine. Pay special attention to these. Uh, Graffitis too. There's some pretty cool stuff that I think probably references other Avalanche games. Logos and stuff. So this game is coming out, uh, I think September 1st. I could be wrong. You might want to look up the date. It's going to be $29.99, which I feel is like a steal for a game of this quality. Like, it's so fun. I, okay, it's not like your normal fun. It's different fun. Oh, there's a tree. I'm going to go get that tree right quick. Gotta go. Like, it's a different kind of gaming fun. It is a different vibe. It's definitely like, I'm going to chill. I'm going to, like, look for this spot on this map to complete this quest. And I'm going to try to catch this really high-end fish here. And I'm going to figure out what tackle I need to do that. 
by looking at all the menus and stuff, and then I'm gonna do it. All right, so this is, uh, there's probably like bugs on this tree or something. Yeah, all right, so old guy will be happy that I did that. So there's this whole backstory to the park. Like, it's this family of wardens that have been taking care of the park for years and years. And uh, it's kind of fun. And the actual warden guy is a total character. Oh, wait, there's something else around here. Oh, there. Look at that. Like, he started... The first time I played, he started rambling on about nachos and how... He loved him so much he was going to need a colostomy bag or something. I could be getting part of that wrong. But I was like, what the hell is he talking about? He has lost his mind. All right. I don't know what kind of fish are here. I don't see anybody jumping. We're just, I don't see anybody swimming. But we're just going to give it a random shot. We're just going to try. We're gonna pop that bad boy right in there. Oh! Oh, it wants me to find, catch a whitefish. This is a challenge. I didn't even know. I just stumbled across one. That is, like, surely excellent. Okay, so if I want a whitefish here, I have the wrong bait, I think. So I know from my research, and I have not been able to successfully catch one of these fools, but I know from my research here, white fish, let's find them. Mountain white fish, right? They're like bread, pearl barley, and eggs. Okay. So I'm going to press uh, the left button. I'm going to go in. I'm going to change out to eggs. And we're going to cast a little further out, I think. And I think I'll probably try this for a few minutes and then wrap up the video. But I did just want to share the game. Oh, I see something approaching my line. I see him. I see him. Now I see lots of fish. If you squint, you can see him off to the left of my line. He's getting closer. You getting closer. You getting close. Those are eggs. You love eggs. Get them eggs. Get them eggs. Yeah! Did I get them? I got them. Sometimes if like they strike like that, you miss them. Oh, he's going. He's trying to run. Hell no, you're not running. Oh, oh, we got a fighter. We got a fighter, ladies and gentlemen. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I don't know if I'll have... I don't even know if this will be a white fish or what, but... Now you're wondering, like, do I talk to myself when I'm playing, when I'm not making a video? Do I talk to the fish? Yes, I talk to the fish. I talk to the trees. I talk to everybody. Where do you think you're going? You ain't going nowhere. Alright, Jumpy Miggy, what do we get? Another rainbow trout! That is not the white fish we wanted. These are not the droids you're looking for. Should I try for another one? No, I'm going to try to keep the video to a half hour. I just wanted to give a quick overview uh, of the game. I think I've done a good job. You can, you can tell that I'm clearly enjoying this. Because, you know, as, as people on Twitter and YouTube say, I love every game that I play. Assholes. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for checking out the video. And um, look forward to uh, seeing you guys over at GamingNexus.com for all your video news and reviews. I will have a full review of this game out uh, next week, so keep an eye on the site for that. And, again, thanks for watching. This is uh, Call of the Wild, The Angler. Um, definitely worth your time. Really. I, I super dig it. So have a good one, y'all.